Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this quick tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how you can use Marmoset Toolback 2.0 uh, because it's a little bit different than it was in the version 1. So this is the default view that we get when we open Marmoset Toolback and here on the left side we have everything that is in the scene. Here is the scene in the center and as we can see we have a sky and if we click on it we can see we can adjust the brightness and some other stuff uh, beneath and we can also see uh, how the uh, sky or background image looks like. If we want to uh, change it we can uh, open up our own one or we can use the preset if we click here on the preset we have a bunch of other presets and just click on it and you can see it immediately changes to the desired uh, preset. So, next uh, you should uh, get to know uh, the things that are here above. So, if you want to place a mesh into your scene, you just go up to Add, Mesh, and then just select uh, the mesh that you are looking for. Uh, then the mesh is imported into uh, the viewport and you can move it around using these uh, arrows or rotating it clicking on these circles and you can always go back by pressing Control Z on the keyboard and because I don't like looking at the background uh, I'm going to go to render and scene and sky background uncheck. Here you can set the background of the of the scene. So next uh, with the mouse uh, with the mouse wheel you can zoom in or zoom out. When you press Alt and rotate you rotate the camera. Uh, this is uh, Alt and uh, left mouse button. Alt and right left li right mouse button is to zoom in and zo zoom out uh, according to the camera. And what else? Yeah, Alt and middle uh, mouse button. Uh, you can move it around. Holding Shift and left mouse button, you can rotate the sky or the background which is not seen but it's still there and it plays a big role uh, when lighting the scene so here you can see uh, how many cameras you have set in your uh, scene so if you ch click on it you can see we only have one main camera for the moment going back to the scene we can see af after we added a uh, mesh the a new a new object is placed in the scene so you can see the what you have in the in your scene so here on the right side you can see we have materials and uh, as before only one material can be applied to the to the model so make sure you uh, divide your model into different different parts if you want to apply different materials to them so to get a special material you can just click here on the on this sign and you can select a bunch of different uh, materials <coughs> and it's, as, as you can see down here you have some different settings you can set for your material and if you want to delete material just select it and press delete on the keyboard and it is deleted the default is always present, you cannot delete the default or better say you cannot have uh, this uh, box empty because some material is always present on the object. So if you want to add uh, some uh, maps that you created for this kind of uh, mesh, you just go down here to surface and under normal map you just select the, the texture that you uh, 
created and immediately it is applied to the model and you can set some options here which I don't, don't use because it's uh, pretty self-explanatory um, under microsurface you can use close map or nothing at all because now as we can see if we, if we uh, scroll up and down you can see that the reflections are being uh, affected and if you want only uh, the specular map for example to be affecting the, this object you should turn off this uh, microsurface gloss map you can see the difference here and if I turn it off it's a subtle difference but it makes a big impact uh, at the end so under albedo this is for diffuse map I don't know why they called it albedo map but we have to go with it just diffuse map and under reflection specular map and you can play around with intensity in Fresno and if you have uh, some additional um, some additional maps like glow or emissive map here you can just check it and then just apply it and here you go you have your uh, model set and then you can play around with additional lights if you want to you can add them by going add and light and the add the, uh, the default light is uh, is the diffuse light let me see the point light sorry uh, and if you want to change it you just go here and change it to spot directional or point light you can set the color the intensity the radius the size and the softness and other stuff that is going to be affecting your light if you want to turn down uh, any of your uh, objects in the scene and don't want to delete it just click here on the eye icon and you they disappear so going under render settings you can set the resolution of your uh, final image I don't uh, normally uh, change this uh, here is for the stereo 3d uh, it's going uh, if you check this uh, you can uh, use the created image for your 3d representation using the 3d uh, glasses I don't use that uh, so I'm not really sure how it works but uh, it's there here we can uh, turn on wireframe uh, play around with color and uh, the intensity of the wireframe as said before you can turn on and turn off skyboard sky background and change the background color and here you can set the local and ambient occlusion uh, which affects the, the ambient occlusions and the reflections being applied from the model and from the background image high resolution shadows is a little bit better for uh, more realistic uh, renders but in low in, in slower uh, machines it can uh, cause problems so you can set the occlusion strength as you can see the changes and the occlusion size if you want it. So here on the watermark if you had a paid version for a uh, marmoset toolback you can turn off or turn on the marmoset toolback uh, watermark and you can hide it in viewport but it will be rendered out so under animation you can set the uh, scene turntable how many uh, turns it's going to make uh, how many uh, what is this uh, how many degrees are going to be turned in one second you can you can set the scene turntable at camera turntable or the sky turntable so what it's going to be you can create it everything is going to rotate but it's a mess 
so scene turntable 10 for example and you can play it and you can see how it's going to look like uh, if you render uh, the animation I can just stop it and if you want to set it to zero again just press here on the C so under capture you can see the shortcuts for the um, capturing of the image that you have uh, in your scene if you want to capture the scene you are going to have to press F11 uh, image clipboard it's self-explanatory re really the turntable also and under settings you can set the width and the height of the of the captured uh, image sampling and format the transparency turned on off uh, and for the turntable you if you want to use the scene camera or sky rotation and how many frames are going to be uh, set in the second and the duration of the turntable so this is pretty much it for this short tutorial about using Marmoset toolback I made this tutorial because I couldn't find anything in video format for this uh, new version 2.0 so I hope, I hope it helped you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel check out the rest of the videos, share this video and till next time bye